So I'm gonna change my laptop CPU with the desktop one. Let me turn it off my laptop because I haven't turned it off. Remove any USB device. Flip it over. Remove the battery. Press the power button to remove any electronics. I mean, the power inside of this laptop. Get your screwdriver. This laptop is XH57. 1050 with G4560 in there. And I'm gonna change it to 6500 i5. Which is, I'm using in my desktop. Normally, this thing doesn't work because laptop uses the different laptop CPU but but this laptop has like just normal desktop CPU so can I, as you see here written here one two three four is the order because one two three four Remove each one carefully. Actually, the order doesn't matter, but you need to do it as a crossway, or you might break your CPU. Possibly. So, we got this. Remove it. Yep, we got this. As you see, it will leave it of dust here. And here, this is a copper heat pipe connected to these pins so that the air can blow out to cool it down. Looks alright but if you touch it it's not the thermal phase is quite whatever dry. It doesn't work as it normally does. Simply wipe it down. CPU is on. Yep. Careful. So, G4560, 7th gen. 7th gen Pentium a 3.5 GHz no turbo boost, dual core high filter I did work as oh shit work as cold core Intel Pentium G4560 3.5 GHz Remove the side panel and you can see the CPU here. Twist it, twist it, twist it. And I'm gonna remove this graphics card. There you go, here is a 1060 Galaxy, 1060 3 gigs. Two pens and DVI, 
HDMI and DP display port. Remove the pen cable and gently. Yep. So the dimmer paste is still wet, kind of. Kind of, yeah. This screw is, is not supposed to be this plastic, but I think the pre-owner was, wasn't care about it. And this heat pipe, heat pipe is made from copper, which is like quite high heat conductive. And here, this one got three and connected to these pins to spread the, the heat outside. Remove this baby. Yes. Here I got sixty five hundred, I think. It's kind of gross. Sixty five hundred six gen i five. Thing three point two gigahertz. Quad core, no high for trading. 1151 socket. We got two chips here. One for my laptop, one from my desktop. I'm gonna swap it. Put it in, you need to match the, the direction and gently put it over. Now close it. And we got the heat pipe. But before we put it in, we need a new thermal paste because we wipe it out. The new thermal paste is here. Look to a NT whatever it is. I got it. 15 bucks something. Oh, uh, yeah. There is quite controversial argument about how to put the paste in but I'm not gonna care about it. So put in as a X mark and just put this thing in again hopefully everything's alright. The thermal paste shouldn't exceed the CPU the socket otherwise it might Destroy everything. Did I put too much? Oh, should be alright. So as you see, as I press it, it's gonna be spread through the CPU. So from here, put the screw in order. One to four. Gently. I mean. And after that, you tighten each one a little bit, 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 a little bit. The reason why we put this thing is kind of. This one is gonna press the CPU to the socket so that they connect fully. What I'm gonna do before I close it, I'm gonna test it. So the thing is the Windows. The Windows might say it's not compatible with your whatever hardware configuration. There you go. Control Shift ESC. Nice. I like it. 6500. Windows plus 6500. As you might see, like that. It's reversed, but whatever. So my laptop got 6500. 16 gigs RAM. 240 SSD, 250 SSD, 250 SSD. This one gonna change to 480 SSD and Wi-Fi and whatever. Yep, graphics got better. 
I can't <coughs> I can't see the NVIDIA the 1050 graphics because it's working excellent Now this CPU cooler looks better, so I'm just gonna clean it. This fan is clipped to this heatsink. Simply, yep. Use your nail or whatever screwdriver. And they're gonna work, so it goes right. Or like vacuum, and they're gonna work as well. So here I got my desktop, I'm gonna put these 4560, 4560, 4560 Pentium, check the direction gently, don't press it, just leave it, close the bracket, and do our paste, well just a little bit. Close the thermal paste, otherwise it's gonna dry, I think. And the direction should be... See, there, there's a written direction here. The air gonna go to... to this way. So the entire air gonna make go flow to the back, I think. Rather than... blow it out. Yeah, that makes sense. Screw it. So, <clears throat> so your cooler is gonna be placed in. So the air is gonna be intake from the front and blow to the back. Excellent. Put your graphics card. Oh yeah, wait. The fan, see if the fan needs to be flogged. Screw it and put the extra power for it. Should be alright. So, as I expected, it's show the CPU properly. Intel Pentium 4560, 345 GHz. Quad core, I mean, the dual core with high force rating. It's not showing the graphics card, but it's kind of error for the graphics card. There you go. 1063 gigs mm, processor. Pentium display 1063 gigs. Excellent.